afternoon slash morning. We're about a half hour away from noon here on the East Coast. It is August 5th, 2018. All right, we've had a 6.9. It actually registered a 7.2 on my app here on my tablet, so it has been downgraded. What else is new? But nonetheless, a 6.9 at Mount Ringini, which is a volcano, an active volcano in Indonesia. Um, if you guys remember about four or five days ago, uh, actually six days ago now, there was another vol uh, earthquake on this volcano that caused hikers to be trapped. So this is yet another even bigger earthquake right next to this volcano. Uh, we could see that uh, there was a tsunami warning attached to this. According to my tablet, um, they're calling it 19.3 miles deep. Uh, possible tsunami warning was issued at 7.46 a.m. That would be my time because it was the tablet that I have here in the north or the southeast of PA, so Eastern Standard Time. Um, you could do the math yourself to see what time it was there when this happened. <coughs> Excuse me. But 6.9 earthquake at Mount Ringini. I have it pulled up here on Google Earth for you. And I'm just giving you an idea of how big the mouth of this volcano is. You can look here. It's just over three miles uh, in diameter. Now, there were people trapped on this mountain uh, about six days ago due to another earthquake that we had. Uh, this was even bigger. This one's much bigger. This was... Um, called a 7.0, a 7.2 in some places. They average it out to 6.9. This was about four hours ago now, three hours ago, give or take. But uh, this is a very big deal uh, th to have earthquakes of this magnitude next to active volcanoes. Now, keep in mind, this is an active volcano. This is not dormant. This is uh, not some earth uh, volcano that has been glossed over by uh, sediment and stuff like that where you can just see it from above. This is a very known active volcano. People hike up here to see it, uh, to see the different colors. Like, you know, I mean, it, it's a beautiful sight when you're up there, but not when there's an earthquake going on under your feet. The first thing you want to do is absolutely sprint back down this mountain and get as far away as possible. Uh, this was felt all over this area, guys. 6.9, that's shallow. Uh, you can guarantee everybody felt this. Um, it's going to be a very big situation going forward, at least for today. Um, so I wanted to jump on here and show you. This is what my tablet showed me at first. Or actually, at first, it was a 7.2. They moved it to a 6.9 within about 20 minutes. I have two pictures here. This one's a little bit closer. So you can see how close this thing is to the mouth of the volcano. Um... This is certainly involving the volcano, in my opinion. Uh, these earthquakes are taking place so close to a magma chamber that how could they not be, is what I'm, is what I'm trying to bring up here. And not only that, but there was a 4.9, a 5.4, and another 4.9, all within the same vicinity, all along the coast of this mount. If you notice, the volcano actually slopes down to the ocean. There's no plateau. Um... So basically, it's the volcano that's coming out of the ocean and is the peak of a mountain range that is in the ocean already. It kind of plateaus out here to the south of this part of the island of Indonesia. It's hard for me to zoom out there. I'll, I'll switch to uh, Google Earth for you so we can get to the right spot, which would be right here. Sorry about that. So you can see how the mountain kind of slopes down, and then maybe it does plateau a little bit here. Uh, right before it gets to the ocean, but you can see we're very close to uh, the shore as this thing starts to rise up to the volcano. So you can see that this may have been an underwater volcano at one point in history, and it's actually forming this island, but you can guarantee uh, this city here, uh, Matamar, uh, Mataram City, and Praia City definitely felt these, uh, these aftershocks, this earthquake, 6.9 shallow is very, very strong. Um, and like I said, I saw 7.2 as a reading, uh, which means they've downgraded this for whatever reason. We never know why they downgrade earthquakes when the average was a 7.0. They want a 6.9 to be the official number. Uh, many, many articles out on this right now. I will bring updates for you. But nonetheless, guys, 6.9 earthquake. 
in the same area that we had six days ago where there were trapped hikers. And if I zoom out here, you can clearly see we are just south of the equator, but the ring of fire in the Pacific Ocean um, is certainly part of this string of volcanoes. The volcanoes and the ring of fire circle all around the Pacific Ocean. Um, and this is just one of those situations where now we need to keep an eye on this big time with all these other volcanoes going off. Um, we may be seeing another eruption in the near future. I'm not trying to scare anyone, but facts are facts. When you get a 6.9 to a 7.2 earthquake near any volcano, you want to be watching that closely. And again, channels like Dutch Sense, there are a, lo a, lot, a lot of channels out there that focus strictly on uh, earthquakes. Uh, they will have much more detailed information on this than me, but um, I'm still here to bring you uh, important news. So with that said, uh, if you guys want to go do your own research, you can go to different earthquake sites. Uh, like I said, uh, you will find as much information as you can handle on this situation right now because it is an ongoing situation. Uh, they are sending rescue teams here. There's a people that live in all these areas. Uh, it's not like America where we live in little populated towns and then you drive to the next town. There's people living all in here, like everywhere, even in the woods and the trees. Um, it, it's just a different living style than what we're used to here in America. Uh, very scary stuff. Uh, this is an active volcano. Keep that in mind, guys. Active, as in uh, it could go off at any time, even before these earthquakes happened. So uh, we're going to keep an eye on this. Wanted to jump on and let you guys know. Um, I will be having other videos today. It is Sunday, once again, August 5th, 2018, 11.37 a.m. And I will be back, guys. Uh, I hope everyone's safe. I hope everything's okay here in Indonesia. Um, hope the death toll isn't high. Uh, let's just hope we can get some rescue teams out there and find people that are missing. Um, I'm sure there are hikers that have decided to go back up to this mountain after everything happened about a week ago. Um, and that's about it. So with that said, guys, 6.9 with a tsunami threat, Indonesia. Um, and that's it for now. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.